Hello everyone, this is Rick from King Sacrifice YouTube Chess channel. Today we are gonna look over the Max Lang or the Max Langer attack. So it starts like this e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, knight f6, and d4. Now black have three choices here that is e takes d4, knight takes d4, and knight takes e4. We're gonna look over them one by one. So let's start with knight takes d4. If knight takes d4, we can just take f7 pawn with our bishop giving a check. King takes f7, knight takes e5 check, king e8, and queen takes d4. Here, white has just won one extra pawn, and black has just lost the castle right. Now we're gonna see another move that is knight takes e4 and now we can just take d takes e5 and black plays bishop to c5 a simple developing move but now we're just threatening queen d5 attacking the f7 and the knight at the same time. So we're just gonna play queen to d5 and now black plays bishop takes f2 check but it doesn't matter because we're gonna play king to f1 and now white is just threatening queen takes f7 mate and queen takes e4 winning a piece so it's good for white now we're gonna see e takes d4 and we can just castle over here bishop to c5 simple developing move and now we can play e5 attacking the knight with a pawn now there are also many moves from black that is d5 knight to e4 and knight to g4 we're also gonna look over them one by one. First, we can just look over knight to g4. And now we can just protect our e pawn with the bishop. And here, black can just castle, protecting his king. But now we can play h3, kicking off the knight to the h6 square. And we can just take it with our bishop. g takes h6, and we can just see black king just looks helpless over there so now we can just look over another move that is knight to e4 and now we can just attack the knight by playing rook to e1 and if he tries to protect with the d5 pawn we can just take it with our e pawn and if he tries to again protect the knight with another pawn that is f5 we can just take the c7 pawn, queen takes c7, and we can again attack the knight by playing knight b to d2. And black over here just tries to protect his king by playing bishop to e7. And another move here is going to play um, knight in the anywhere. So now we're going to play knight takes e4 f takes e4, rook takes e4 and black plays bishop to f5 mm. looking on the boot it just looks like um, black's all right over here his bishops are okay you can castle on the either side of the boot but now white has a very good move that is knight to g5 and black can just castle over here to protect anti castle over here to protect his king but also he's gonna lose a uh, exchange by by playing bishop e6 check bishop takes e6 and knight takes e6 he's gonna he's just gonna lose his exchange and another move is 
bishop takes e4. If he tries to be greedy, then we can just play bishop f7 check. If he goes on the any side, we can just give him a check with a knight for king, the king and the queen. So now, if he tries to play the king on the d7 square, we can bring our, in our queen to g4 giving a check and if he plays to d6 we can just checkmate him in two moves if you want to find it you can just pause the video and go through it so the move is knight takes e4 check queen e5 queen e6 and that's a checkmate and now we're gonna look over the d5 move and now we can take the knight with a pawn black takes the bishop with his d pawn and we can just play rook e1 check so black only has one good move to block with his piece that is bishop to e6 and we can just attack the piece by attacking it twice by playing knight to g5 and you can just see on the board how many um, moves this black have we're gonna look over them one by one first we're gonna see what happens if queen takes f6 we can just take over knight takes e6 and queen cannot take the knight because we're gonna take it with the rook if it takes with the pawn we can just play queen h5 check and his piece is gone now the another move is g takes f6 Nothing much different, it's the same. We can just take the bishop and give a check. Now another move is queen d7. It's all this also the same. And now another move is to castle. If he castles, you can just see on the board we can take the g7 pawn with our pawn. And if he takes with the king. We can play a stunning move that is rook takes e6. If it takes with his pawn, we can give a fork to his queen, rook, and the king, and also the bishop. So now we are gonna just see another move that is if it takes with his king, no, sorry, if it takes with his rook, we can play queen to h5 attacking the h7 square threatening mate and if he plays bishop f5 protecting the h7 square we can just take it on the f7 square giving a mate so now we're gonna look on the other move that is queen to d5 now we can just play knight to c3 attacking the queen if it takes takes then we're just gonna take the queen and you notice he cannot take our queen and now the queen plays to f5 and we can play knight c to e4 black can just anti castle over here but we're just gonna look over what happens if he takes the pawn with the g pawn we can play g4 if he plays to g6 we can take the knight bishop with our knight and if he takes with the pawn we want to take the another bishop so now we're going to look at another move if the queen plays to e5 we can play knight f3 so there's no move left for queen except queen to d5 if he plays so then we can just take the f6 pawn and fork the queen and the knight sorry the king and now we can look over another move that is queen to d5 if we plays queen to d5 we can just take the g7 pawn he plays black plays rook h to g8 we can just fork the queen and the rook by playing knight f6 queen to d6 and we can just attack the queen with our g knight 
and he has two moves that is queen to e7 and queen to e5 if he plays queen to e5 they can play f4 and you notice that there is no square for queen left and if he tries to give a check by playing d3 we can just move a knight and if he plays his queens on d4 we can just trap the queen by playing c3 and now another move is queen e7 if you place queen e7 we can just take the rook with a knight rook takes knight and we can just play bishop to g5 attacking the queen and if you place anywhere we can just take the bishop with our knight and now the another move is queen to d6 if you place queen d6 we can play knight e4 if queen to d5 sorry queen to d5 we can play f takes g7 rook g8 and we can again give a fork to the king queen and the rook if here he plays queen to f8 he's gonna lose a piece because white's gonna play g takes f f takes g7 queen takes g7 knight takes c5 so this is all about the max line opening or the gamut or trap i hope you all enjoyed the video please do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you for